In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for PF4 positive. So to do that, we first need to count up the valence electrons. Phosphorus is in group 15 on the periodic table, sometimes called 5A. That has five valence electrons. And then fluorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, that'll have seven, and we have four fluorine atoms. This positive sign means we've lost an electron. If we lose an electron, we lose a negative charge, makes this a positive ion. So we're going to lose one electron. If we add these up, 28 plus 5, that's 33, minus 1. 32 total valence electrons for the PF4 positive Lewis structure. To draw the Lewis structure here, we're going to put phosphorus at the center. Phosphorus is the least electronegative. Fluorine is very electronegative. So we'll put the phosphorus in the center, and then we'll put four fluorine atoms around it. Next, we're going to put pairs of electrons between the atoms. This will form the chemical bond. So that's a chemical bond over here. And now we have eight valence electrons on that central phosphorus. Let's complete the octets on the fluorine atoms. So at this point, each fluorine atom has eight valence electrons. It has an octet in that central phosphorus atom that also has an octet. So this is the Lewis structure for PF4+. Often you'll see brackets around the structure and then the positive sign on the outside. And finally, these shared pairs of electrons, sometimes they'll be placed by a single line to show the single bond between the phosphorus and fluorine atoms. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for PF4+. Thanks for watching.